Hey everyone, welcome to episode 12 of Q&A with Lauvan. How do you know which colors to mix in while drawing? Like when you painted her neck with purple then suddenly added blue and yellow. Like is there a chart to how this doesn't turn brown or something? Often I don't know how the colors will turn out. I have some basic inside my head like um, the normal color chart. But you have to be very careful when you mix your colors on the paper itself because uh, if you try too hard they will smudge and they will not um, create a gradient but they will mix up and turn brown. So if you are very careful and you place them very precisely they will stay at their point but they will also create a little gradient. There are often points where I don't know how it will turn out in the end. That are the steps that take the longest while doing a drawing. That I think about the colors and where to use them. But it also depends often on how you apply the colors. So you can create a gradient or you can just smudge them and create that brown or something like that. But if you place them precisely, you can reach a little gradient and the colors will stand for themselves. So I think um, yeah, that's something that comes with practice. Will you ever do a collaboration with another artist? Actually I don't mind doing collabs with other artists. I um, really appreciate them when it comes to benefit the picture in the end. But um, yeah, I tried to do some collabs over the last years and often got left alone with lines or something like that. And um, yeah, so I'm very careful in choosing my collab partner now. Holy crap, you know Chinese? Respect level up. To clarify this, I... Uh, don't know Chinese, but uh, we had some cases where Chinese pages um, just re-uploaded the videos and we tried our best to uh, use Google Translate and um, yeah. Yeah, we, we tried to communicate with them via our video and um, also if we get comments that are not in German or English, um, yeah, we do our best not, not all the time, but we do our best to kind of translate them, try to find out what do the people mean, and then, yeah, usually answer in English. Uh, sometimes I try myself at a little bit of Japanese, uh, which you will see from time to time, but um, no, none of us uh, actually speak Japanese or Chinese. Have you ever used brush pens? Are they harder than normal brushes? Um... I think you mean like those brushes with water tanks or like just pens with brush tips. <laughs> I use both. The pens with water tanks are I think good for mobile sketching and drawing but I wouldn't recommend using them on a full um, colored picture, on a picture you want to be very detailed and uh, worked out. So. Um, uh, yeah, because it's hard to control the flow of the water, so um, normal brushes will do the best, I think. Do you use references at all? Yes. I think even for pictures where you think you don't need one, it will definitely look better if you look references up. People uh, use references for hands and for other body parts. And um, I think you should use references with all kinds of things where you are not sure how they uh, look. Are you a unicorn? No. Sure? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> just, just making sure here. So thanks for watching and um, if there are still some open questions you can put them in the comments below. So see you next time.